Let's see how this cup of coffee and 18 grams of dark chocolate will affect my blood glucose levels. So this is just some coffee without sugar with some stevia and some single cream. And the chocolate is this one, 85%. So let's see how it goes because I really love having this for breakfast. And so just to let you know, this is an 18 gram serving and it has carbs, 4.2 grams of carbs of which 2.6 grams of sugar. So let's see how it goes. It's been around two hours since I had my coffee and dark chocolate. Guess what? No blood glucose spike. The highest glucose peak was only 5.6 millimoles per liter, which is 100 milligrams per deciliter. It's amazing. Now it's back to 4.6. Now that's a type of glucose response I'm looking for after eating breakfast. So many of us eat what I would call a dessert for breakfast, which sets them up for poor glucose control for the rest of the day. If you eat muffins, pancakes, croissants, oats, or anything like that, you'll start your day with a blood sugar and insulin roller coaster, setting you up for more hunger, cravings, mood swings, and energy crashes. Many of us see chocolate as an unhealthy food option. I don't agree with that. Dark chocolate is packed with antioxidants, fat, and fiber. It won't spike your glucose or insulin. It's good for your heart, your brain. It increases stem cells, which promote tissue healing and longevity. I've been eating dark chocolate for the past 10 years or so. It makes me feel great, and I managed to reverse insulin resistance. So I don't know what about you, but I'll keep eating dark chocolate.